d square y by dx square minus 4 divided by dx plus 5y equal to 0 subject to divided by dx is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. This one is a divided by dx. x is independent. Okay. Now see the condition is given. This is a homogeneous equation using condition we find the solution. Now solution is we have so write in the equation d square minus 4d plus 5 into y equal to 0 d stand d by dx now auxiliary equation is m square minus 4m plus 5 equal to 0 uh, so using quadratic equation m is equal to 4 plus or minus b minus b is a minus 4 plus or minus square root of b square b square means minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 ac 4 a is 1 c is 5 4 ac is a minus 20 divided 2 a a is a 1 2 now 4 as it is plus or minus 20 16 minus 20 is a minus 4 square root of minus 4 means root uh, uh, 2 uh, means of minus 4 means 2 uh, root minus 1 is a i and divided by 2 and 2 is take common 2 plus or minus i okay now y is equal to complex root alpha and plus or minus i beta e raised to 2x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x this is equation number one you mentioned equation number one and condition is given divided by dx means uh, differentiate this one now using product rule differentiate one with respect to x differentiate one equation number one so you get divided by dx is equal to e raised to 2x as it is now differentiate c1 is constant differentiate cos is minus sin x plus c2 constant differentiation of sin is cos x plus and differentiate this part e raised to 2x is it 2 into e raised to 2x into this bracket is as it is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x okay this is equation number 2 now using condition condition is y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 in equation number 1 so you know condition is y equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 in equation number 1 ok so put equation number 1 y is equal to 1 and uh, e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 x is a 0 then cos 0 is 1 cos 0 is 1 and c1 now this is c1 plus c2 sin 0 sin 0 0 uh, c2 value is 0 we get c1 is equal to 1 ok next is a required c2 value now again the condition is uh, divided by dx is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2 in equation number 2 now also so dy by d uh, dy by dx is equal to 2 at x is equal to 0 in equation number 2 substitute in equation number 2 so dy by dx is equal to 2 is a 2 is equal to e raised to 0 is a 1 sin 0 is 0 okay and cos 0 is 1 and e raised to 0 is 1 cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so 2 is equal to sin 0 is 0 then cos 0 is 1 c2 plus 2 into e raised to 0 is 1 Co sin 0 is 0 then cos 0 is 1 and c1 c1 so using c1 value c1 is equal to 1 using c1 is equal to 1 then 2 is equal to c2 plus 2 or c2 is equal to 0 
now see the uh, c1 values and c2 values so c1 c2 substitute in equation number 1 so therefore y is equal to e raised to 2x c1 is a 1 c1 is a 1 uh, cos x c2 is a 0 this is a 0 mm, this is a 0 so we only y is equal to e raised to 2x into cos x so required solution solve the initial value problem d square x by dt square plus 4 dx by dt plus 29x is equal to 0 subject to the conditions x of 0 is equal to 0 dx by dt of 0 is equal to 15 so t is a independent variable okay this is x of t dx by dt of t okay t values is 0 and x is 0 and first order is a 50 dx by dt is a 15 so find the solution so we have now so write in d square plus 4d plus 29 into x is equal to 0 d stand this problem is d by dt now auxiliary equation is m square plus 4m plus 29 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation m is equal to minus b means minus 4 plus or minus b square 16 minus 4 ac 1 and 29 into 4 4 ac is 116 divided by 2a 2 only and this is a minus 4 and this is a minus 100 square root of minus 100 means plus or minus 10 i 10 is a 100 square root of 100 is 10 and into root minus 1 is i divided by 2 2 is a common minus 2 plus or minus 5 i okay now so generally dy by dx will take complement function y is equal to this one is a dx by dt means x is equal to x is equal to uh, complex roots e raised to minus 2t divided by dx is what e raised to alpha x x is independent and this problem is t is independent so e raised to minus alpha t e raised to minus 2t into c1 cos 5t plus c2 sin 5t okay next dx by dt means differentiate this one uh, this is equation number one differentiate with respect to t only so dx by dt is equal to is a product rule so e raised to minus 2t as it is differentiate inside c1 is constant and minus sin t minus sin sin 5t again 5t is a 5 plus c2 differentiation of sin is cos cos 5t again 5t is a 5 next differentiate this one minus 2 into e raised to minus 2t and bracket is as it is c1 cos 5t plus c2 sin 5t this is equation number 2 let us consider condition x is equal to 0 and uh, condition is given x is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 in equation number 1 so x is 0 0 and t is 0 t is 0 e raised to 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 and c1 is equal to 0 next second condition this is second condition so dx by dt is equal to 15 and t is equal to 0 in equation number 2 put equation number 2 ok dx by dt is equal to 15 is equal to e raised to 0 is 1 e raised to 0 is equal to 1 ok now sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 5 c 2 now this one is put uh, values is a 5 c2 only first one then minus this is a 1 
minus 2 as it is sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is t is equal to 0 cos 0 is 1 c1 minus 2 c1 but c1 value is 0 therefore the 15 equal to 5 c2 therefore c2 is equal to 3 now c1 values and c2 values substitute in equation number 1 so we get y is equal to oh sorry this is x is equal to x is equal to uh, 3 e raised to minus 2t into sin 5t put uh, c1 is 0 c1 is a 0 means this part is 0 and c2 is what 3 3 sin 5t so 3 sin 5t and e raised to minus 2t this is a required solution